Well guys, as with all great journeys, it must eventually come to an end, and I am very happy and kinda sad to say that Master Chief is officially completed. It has been so much fun working on a project like this for the past six months. It's been such an amazing journey. Thank you all for your support. I was a little concerned going into a project this large, being so different from my usual stuff, but you guys have been great and so helpful throughout the whole thing. It was a real joy to work on. There's still a couple small little things that I want to work on, such as adding a platform for Chief to stand on, because I want him to be able to travel with me to like, if I ever sell at conventions or something like that. I think it'd be really, really cool to have Chief set up in the booth and let people take photos with him. But let's kind of recap the overall project, what my final thoughts on it were, what I've learned, what I would change for the next one, and if I would recommend you do this project as well. So let's talk a little statistics first. The total overall print time of this project was 2,467 hours or just over 100 days of printing time in total. Luckily, I've got a small army of 3D printers, so it, I was able to print everything out in a couple of weeks. It used 67 pounds of filament for the base 3D prints or around $585 worth of filament. This has kind of been an expensive project, but and this is my honest feelings on it, this project has reinvigorated me in so many ways for finishing 3D prints and just 3D printing things in general. When I first put the helmet on with the shiny golden visor on top of this thing, I almost started to cry just on how happy I was with it, how everything turned out. It is everything I hoped it would be and more. So if you're thinking of doing a project like this yourself, know that it's gonna be a lot of work, probably more work, than you've ever done on a 3D printed part, but if you stick with it, overcome the mistakes that you are definitely going to make along the way, the payoff is just immense. A lot of people have asked me if I am going to sell this thing to anybody, but the answer is definitely not. This has been such a labor of love for so long that I just don't want to let it go. I want it to live at the Galactic Armory forever. I tell people that it can be the scarecrow for my print farm, and it's got me thinking of all sorts of other different life-size prints that I can make just because it is so much fun putting something together so large and just being able to step back and say that you made that you made that whole thing the printers helped a lot and did a lot of the work but you also had to put in quite a lot of work and in the end it's just so worth it moving forward there are a couple things that I want to do still for example I want to secure the arms in place a little bit more I'll probably do a test where I like hang some ropes underneath the shoulder plates and just kind of test how well the Velcro holds so that if the Velcro does give, the arms fall out, the rope will catch the arms and prevent them from falling to the ground, but it'll give me a good indication of how well that Velcro is holding. It takes a fair amount of effort to pull the arms out, so I'm hopeful that the Velcro will be strong enough, but I do want to test it over a couple of weeks before I let Chief stand there as decoration for long periods of time. I also want to make a platform for Chief. I'm thinking of doing some threaded inserts into the bottom of his feet and screwing him into a platform. Now Chief can stand up on his own, but when you work six months on something, you want to make absolutely sure that it is not gonna fall over and break. And I wanna take Master Chief to conventions when I start having a booth at them, because I think he would be a great draw and such a fun photo opportunity for so many people. And I think Chief needs to get out so people can really appreciate the scale of how big he is. Now, let's talk future projects. Now, like I said earlier, these life-size prints has, have really reinvigorated my love of 3D printing, and I feel like I could be working on a life-size statue forever. My plan right now is to make Master Chief a friend, one of the only friends he's had, really, the Arbiter. Now, my favorite version of the Arbiter is Arbiter from the Halo 2 Anniversary Edition, it doesn't exactly match timeline-wise with the Halo Infinite Master Chief, but that's okay with me. The Arbiter is even taller than Master Chief. He's 7 foot 10 compared to Master Chief's 7 foot 2, and the Arbiter even has like a wicked hunch just based on his species. So he is much more massive than Chief as well. Now some things that I know I'm going to change going forward is I'm going to be a lot more conscious of balancing and weight distribution of these projects. For Arbiter, I'm definitely going to hollow the feet out in the model. That way I can pour a bunch of sand in, just directly in the feet so I can add like 20, 30 pounds of sand to really make sure that it's bottom heavy and stable. I'll probably also hollow out a lot of the other parts 
just to hopefully make the overall thing a little lighter. I'm definitely going to keep using the one inch detail grinder. That thing was such a lifesaver for this project and probably for a lot more projects down the line. And I'll most likely separate the Arbiter into a lot more individual pieces. These files were originally meant for one sixth scale figurines. So like printing on SLA resin printers. But when you're doing them life size, it's a lot handier to have them broken up into a lot of individual parts because those parts end up being so big. The Arbiter files are almost finished, so I'll be able to get right back on that horse real soon and start working on that guy. So be on the lookout for more tutorial videos and new projects. I've got lots of cosplay plans as well with the Medieval Captain Rex and the Galactic Armorer, my own original content armor piece or armor set. So thank you again, everybody, for watching and for joining me on this great journey. I hope you all find your own projects that you are as passionate about as I am about Master Chief, and I hope it gives you an excellent creative outlet. I know that's so important to so many people, especially me, and I know there's many more people like me out there. But in the meantime, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.